In this video, we're gonna show you how to troubleshoot your NVR. Currently, we have a four channel NVR connected to our monitor and I can actually see my mouse. That's because my monitor is a 1080p monitor and the display output on my NVR is also a 1080p. I'm gonna show you what that means. If I go into the main menu and I go to system, and display. Your settings here to get to this point may vary a bit depending on the version of your NVR, but let me do a close up here. So, here on my settings inside of the NVR, it says resolution is 1080. The 1920 by 1080 is 1080p. If you have a 4K NVR, or DVR with this menu interface and you're poking around here and you're trying to change resolutions, you go to system and you're like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna set it to the highest one. That's 4K. Well, guess what? This recorder can output 4K, but once I set it to that, my 1080p monitor will go black. Depending on the age of your unit, it may or may not ask you to confirm and keep that resolution but now you're locked out. Now you're gonna think your cameras are not working. This, mon this NVR happens to be an intelligent one that it asks you, do you want to confirm and keep that resolution um, as the setting? Several older firmwares do not do that and you would be locked out of the NVR by now. So let's pretend you got locked out and you can't see this grid screen that pretty nice grid screen we see here. So how do you go change the resolution of your DVR if instead of this grid screen, you see a completely black screen? I'm gonna show you that in this video. Before we go on to that, let's also cover some other steps to make sure that when you have a black screen coming from your NVR, you don't think your NVR is just not working or it's dead. So here are some troubleshooting steps on how to troubleshoot your NVR. If you have a completely black screen coming from your NVR, the first thing you wanna do is power cycle it. Almost all of our NVRs have a post beep. What that means is when you turn the NVR on, you're gonna hear a beep when it finally turns on and it's completely booted up. So on the back of this NVR, This particular one has a power supply slot. Yours may be this exact version or it might be different where it has a power switch on the left or right hand side next to the power cord coming in. So what you would do is power it. Listen to the noises coming from the NVR. I'm not sure if you heard that or not, that was a hard drive booting up. It's gonna make a clicking sound. You're gonna hear some sort of activity there. Your NVR may also have a fan. This one does. It's also slightly buzzing a bit too. And that, that is the post speed. So if your NVR is operational, it will have a post speed. You will hear that after at least a minute, or it could take up to five minutes, especially on the larger NVRs. They usually take a lot longer because their firmware has a lot more going on in there. So it's like a computer booting up. The other way also is to plug in a ethernet cord to the back of it. Make sure that ethernet cord is going back to your router and the cord is actually functional. And you'll see lights on the back of it. So the amber light is uh, indicative of what type of connection you have. As long as you can see these lights, that's a good thing that the NVR is still working. So if you hear the hard drive click on, if your DVR has a fan and it's working, and finally you hear that post beep, that means your DVR is operational. But if you don't see any video, that's because you managed to set the wrong resolution or from the get-go, if you just bought this NVR and you're watching this video, 
because you just can't see a display output and we reference you this video, it's because your monitor is really old and it doesn't even support 1080p. Thanks for watching.